So Wander is a new tool from Mount MoGraph that lets you search millions of GIFs, stickers, emojis, text, high resolution images, editable vectors, and use them right in Premiere Pro and After Effects. It's pretty crazy, it's a lot of fun. So let's check it out. And if you like what you see here, you can use my link and my discount code in the description to pick it up. Okay, so I have a new After Effects composition open. And so to launch Wander, you're just gonna go to Window, Extensions, and find Wander. And here it is launched. Let me just go ahead and dock it. And since this is an extension, the developers can just push updates to you automatically. You just make sure that you have updates, um, auto updates selected here, and then you will just get the updates pushed to you all the time, which is very great. And in Premiere Pro, it will be the same thing under window extensions. You can just launch Wander and you will have a pretty much identical looking window minus just a few features that are native to After Effects. And in this video, I'm just going to um, do the overview in After Effects um, for simplicity's sake, but the plugins work pretty much exactly the same. So should not be a problem. So in this menu, we also have a bunch of other really nice features. You can customize the UI, stuff like this. This is all pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go over it. Let's get into the meat of this extension. So now let's add some media to our timeline. Something we wanna search up, let's say dog. I love dogs, okay? And now we can search for dogs. And you know, okay, this, this dog looks great. Let's say I wanna add this dog. So I can click on it and we have all these options at the bottom, okay? So starting from right to left, we have this triangle here. This one, if you toggle this on and off, this just displays some me metadata. We have the size and the name of the GIF. We have the option to loop the GIF on or off and to pre-compose it when it enters the timeline or not. So I'm gonna choose to loop it and add it to the timeline. And so now you can see it adds it wherever your playhead is, and then it will loop it because I have looping selected. Okay, so now we have a looping dog GIF on or off. I could also alternatively choose to not loop it and pre-compose it and add it back. And now we have a pre-composed dog GIF that we added to our timeline. If we had this same search result, we could go to other things like stickers, which are transparent GIFs, basically. We have text, which is text, um, transparent text things related to dog, and emojis. These are, do not um, listen to your search result here. These are just, you know, emojis. I, you know what emojis are. We also have these image libraries here. We can search Unsplash, which is great. I use it all the time. Wikipedia Commons and Flickr. So if I wanted to add something like here, we also have this option to pre-compose before entering it or not. And we can just double click and add an image to our timeline. Now you can see when it adds it, it is um, pretty small, but if you open up the scale here, it is going to retain this original image size, which is very big, and it scales it down to put it at a comfortable size on your timeline. And now another really useful part of these image searches is you can search for something like texture, and then you have this library of these really high resolution textures that you can use. So if I scale up my dog here, or whatever this composition, this animation might be, and I drop in this, high resolution texture and then just apply it with a blending mode like this now i have this texture that i can easily use and i could just animate this around i have this whole library of all different things metal or sand or wood or whatever this third category here is um, things like emojis icons and primitives so i'm just going to take off my search of dog and just kind of scroll through all of these. Now, the really cool thing about these is that these are editable icons. Um, these are vectors. So if I'm going to add something like a smiley into here, 
this is a vector shape. So if I control and click into this path, I can actually edit this stuff. I can edit the colors here. And I could go in and I could edit the paths of this stuff here. These are all editable vector shapes. So we could do path animations, we can edit the colors, anything like that. That is what all of these icon libraries are. And there are a lot of them. Specifically, what I really like is things like the humans library, which are different body parts for people, which can be very useful for um, if you need to quickly build libraries of people, you know, there's legs, um, different kinds of legs, heads, um, you can mix and match stuff like this. And since these are all editable, you know, you could animate the legs differently and the arms and all that good stuff. And so a lot of this stuff I end up using just um, for kind of simple UI things. Um, you know, we have a lot of just like uh, social media icons and simple kind of like folders and, and uh, arrows and stuff like this. Um, and then this last category is your um, recently used and um so now let's talk about legality are we allowed to use all of this stuff in projects and the answer is yeah kinda so for the stuff like you know icons and these unsplash images and wikipedia commons a lot of this stuff is free to use so you know if you want to use unsplash images just you know, check the licensing on this stuff. So for example, anything you're finding from Unsplash, this stuff is free to use. You just, if you want to double check, go on Unsplash, read more about the Unsplash license. I know that these are royalty free to use in all instances. Same thing with humans. This is free for commercial or personal use. And if you're unsure, you know, go on and look up, okay, bootstrap icons. Google it and just read what it says. A lot of this stuff, they did a good job of sourcing things that are free, free to use. Now, for something like, you know, if you're looking up like a dog GIF, I probably wouldn't use a random GIF like this on a million dollar Coca-Cola commercial project, okay? That's probably not a good idea. You don't wanna use copyright imagery that you're unsure of where it came from on client work okay but for you know just a random youtube video like i'm doing you know it's it's okay to just grab an arrow like this a lot of this stuff it's perfectly fine to use now i'm not a lawyer don't quote me on this but you can easily track down the licensing or unsplash wikipedia Flickr, humans Octicons, that kind of stuff. And they put the legal information, all this legal mumbo jumbo on the website in the about. So it's on you to just make sure you're using it okay. So yeah, that is about it for this overview. Let me know what you guys think about Wander. I personally think it's uh, pretty awesome. It's one of those tools that I did not know that I wanted, but I really love it and I've been using it a lot lately. So leave a comment of an emoji that how it makes you feel. All right, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. If you liked it, you're probably gonna like these. But check them out, all right? I'll wait.